had a job interview in corporate America for an office job. I don't know if you guys have ever gone to this, but like, I love being interviewed in corporate America because I just feel so interesting, you know? Like, you know, you get on your like silky polyester and they bring you a little, little cup of water and you just sit there and I feel like I'm on a Barbara Walters special, you know? I'm just like, oh, okay. And I prep for this, so we're talking and and the lady said, um, oh, Allison, it's really great to meet you. So let's hear about your, your uh, two-year plan. And I did my research. I know they like certain buzzwords like team building and data and all that stuff, right? So I was ready for it. And I was like, well, well, Cheryl, I see myself growing with the growingness, with the growth of the company in the growing years. <laughs> I was like, yeah, baby, marinate on that, yeah, right? So she's like busy writing all that down, you know, and I'm super interesting still. And then she says, very, very interesting, very interesting. So tell me, Allison, where do you see yourself in five years from now? And I'm like, damn, I just shot my wad on the two-year answer. I, you got me, you know, like, I don't know, right? Worst case scenario, I get the job, right? I get the job. I have no business working in an office, like none. Like I look at like postums and white out like art supplies. Like I'm like, oh, this is so fun. I, honestly, like when I see fax machines, my mind is still blown how that works. You know what I mean? Like you mean to tell me you put paper in it and like through a telephone wire and get, like that's crazy to me. I really. <laughs> I constantly felt like the people who came and got E.T. were gonna come get me. Like, I was like, there's gonna be some, there's gonna be some people in white suits coming in any minute now. Don't belong here. So anyways, like, we would have these, like, move, uh, meetings. And they, they were, like, bright and early every morning, and they'd be like, okay, today is the last day, you guys. Today's it. We're gonna do it. Make this day count, you know? And the whole time you're sitting there, like, it's Tuesday, Jim, relax, you know what I mean? Like, am I on the set of Top Gun or is this apocalypse, you know? <laughs> the problem was is that like, honestly, like I'm 100% okay with failure. Like I really, <laughs> it's okay with me. So there is a little problem there. I don't know uh, if I've ever seen anything sadder though, to be honest with, uh, in this job, like every Friday there was like the promise of Jeans Day. Like on Thursdays, if we got all of our work done, there's nothing more pathetic than grown folks scrambling to wear their own jeans the next day. <laughs> like people would come by my, my cubicle and like be like, come on, labor, let's see some hustle. Jeans days tomorrow. And I'm like, they're not buying us jeans, moron. We have, we already, we're wearing our own. It's not that, it's not that exciting. one of the coolest things you guys recently this is absolutely true I was driving down to the airport very early in the morning the Sun was just coming up just turning into daylight and I've never seen this before I saw a hooker coming home after work <laughs> now think about it it's like seeing a possum in the middle of the day you're like oh my gosh shh, quiet 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 shh. Don't scare her, don't scare her. Shh, 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 shh. Oh, look at her. Do you have any snacks in the car? Come here. Here, hooker, 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 hooker. They're so cute when they're young. You just want to pet them, but they charge you for that. Adorable, it really is. If you ever have a chance to see one, oh, it's so cute. Her wig was on all backwards, and one was hanging out of her skirt. Oh, delicious! Delicious. I love this, I love this job because you get to go around the entire country, the whole world, and I just got back from Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Woof, I know it. And it was pretty intense because, you know, the detainees, I don't know if you guys watch CNN or if you can spell CNN, but the, <laughs> we all know, right, the detainee camp is there. I had one soldier come up to me after my set and he goes, hey, you're real funny, won't buy you a 
drink. Bow, nigga, down, down, nigga, down, down, nigga, down, down, down. Pew, pew. Thank you, state of Kentucky. We would not have an army without you. Now, I'm not making fun of the South, but seriously, are we gonna send soldiers from Los Angeles to go fight? <laughs> um, what time does war start in the morning? Because I usually have a soy latte first thing first. Do we have like a wrap up schedule? I have an audition next week. But I was just flattered. I haven't had an 18 year old buy me a drink since I was 12. I gotta get out of here, but I'll tell you one cool thing that I did see on the road in mil military bases. I was entertaining the troops in Japan, in Tokyo. There are signs in front of the women's restrooms in English that say, attention American women, you must observe toilet courtesy. <sighs> what are we doing to these poor Japanese bathrooms? They had to write a sign. Are we just walking in, just <laughs> kicking the stall door open, just peeing on their laps, yeah! This how we pee in America, bitches! I gotta go, you guys. I'm Kira Sultanovich. Thank you. Hey, you guys. How are ya? Good. I'm Laura. I went to school for anthropology. And you know, that's just a long, confusing word. I think they should just condense it and call it temp job prep. And the quirky thing about working as a temp is that they basically treat you like a retard. <laughs> when you answer the phone, say hello. <laughs> Do you want me to write that down? Or are you just gonna eat the paper? <laughs> and they don't trust you. You know what I mean? They don't trust you to go anywhere alone. Like if you get up to go to the bathroom, it's where are you going? Can I help you with something? I was just gonna get my rifle out of the trunk. Yeah, you can help me with something. I had a bad day at work today. I really hate my job. Well, I hate working. Uh, pretty much right there. So uh, I'm looking for a new job, but this is what I hate about looking for a new job. I hate the interview, the job interview. Because you see, they ask you the stupidest questions that you have to lie to answer in order to get a job that you don't really want. <laughs> now usually I'm applying for some secretarial position and I always get asked this question in a job interview, very curious. Uh, so Maria, where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, well, certainly taking crap and schlepping copies for you people. That's, that's, is that the right answer? No, okay. Let's try again. Oh, I know, uh, hopefully collecting some hefty disability from some water I'll slip on in the kitchen. Do you guys have a kitchen? <laughs> no? All right. Well, here's my answer and I'm going with this one. Where do I see myself in five years? Porno. Yeah. Yeah. Because I figure if I'm gonna come to work and get screwed every day, I might as well make some real cash. You know, it pays to be honest, because they hired me. <laughs> but then lawyers like that answer. I hate lawyers. But I, I you know, I saw this uh, curious uh, Help Wanted ad in the newspaper the other day. I thought it might be fun to answer. It said, female internet models wanted. Yeah. So I read the job description. And the first part of it said, typing helpful. Well, okay, I can type, fine. Second part of it said, nudity required. Well, okay, sometimes I type in the nude, fine. Now, 
But the third part of it said, and this is the part I found the most curious, it said, good social skills. <laughs> All right, now why would you need good social skills to type over the internet in the nude? <laughs> For instance, say some guy types in, hey baby, you have uh, pretty tits. Show me some snack. <laughs> Probably a good social skills response would be, a uh, thank you, and do you mean snatch? Now, if I was hired for this job, I'd have a little problem with the good social skills portion, you know, being a comedian and all. So say some guy types in, hey baby, your left bob is bigger than your right bob. My response, and both of them are probably bigger than your ditch. Get off the line, moron. Oh, and have a nice day. I quit my job two weeks ago, corporate America out the window. Yeah, that's right. I gotta find another job. Don't get too excited. I gotta work, gotta eat. Anyway, I go on job interviews now and I have fun. I'm 36 and I don't care. So the job interviews are a good time for me. They ask me, they're like, Jacqueline, what are your weaknesses? Where do you need to work hard in life? What are you weak at? Uh, working, obviously. <laughs> I can't hold a job, that's the reason I'm here. <laughs> then he asked me again, Jackie, what are your strengths? What are you good at? Uh, not working. <laughs> I can waste eight hours like a pro, I'm the one. Next question, he's like, Jackie, where do you see yourself in five years? What are your five year goals? Uh, hopefully banging the VP so I ain't gotta work no more. <laughs> exactly! Think big, people, think big. I'm also paranoid, I'm the only black person in my department when I was there, and I think I'm paranoid because all the emails lost and found came to my inbox directly. They're like, Jackie, we can't find a fax machine. Do you have it? That's insulting, what the hell is that? I may have taken a few boxes of paper, a couple of staplers, the couch in the lobby, it's not the point. I don't want to be interrogated first thing in the morning, that's rude. So, I actually dated a much, much younger man once. <laughs> right? If you guys have never dated a much older woman, okay, I highly recommend it. You know why? We are a lot less insecure. Seriously. Like, if you're dating some young gal and you say to her, oh no, I forgot your birthday, she's gonna fall apart. But if you're dating some older woman and you say to her, oh no, honey, I forgot your birthday, She's gonna say, oh, was that today? Well, things happen. But you know what? Okay, there's a flip side to that. Since we're a lot less insecure, we don't put up with as much crap either, right? Like if you're dating some young gal and you call her up and say, sweetie, I'm gonna be a couple hours late because I'm out drinking with my friends, okay? She's gonna be like, oh, that's okay, honey. You're worth waiting for. Yeah. yeah. If you say that to some older woman, she's gonna be like, all right, look, if you're not here by eight o'clock, I'm starting without you. <laughs> I got meetings in the morning, honey, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, so you know, this economy is really bad right now. I'm sure you've noticed, right? A lot of people are actually having to get second jobs just to make ends meet. Okay, I wanna know when it's gonna finally get so bad out there that our politicians have to get second jobs. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? I mean, let's see them work at Denny's when Congress isn't in session, okay? <laughs> Good luck getting any tips. <laughs> but I mean, think about it. What else could a politician do? You know, Obama is such an amazing public speaker, he would probably be a really good phone sex operator. <laughs> like with a teleprompter, right? Couldn't you see it? Hey, baby, I'm tall. I've got a dark Hawaiian tan and a great big set of ears. <laughs> Are you into that, baby? Uh, Ma'am, I've actually got to go. I was just told there was a problem in Libya. 
No, I said Libya. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? I could see Sarah Palin like being a producer for that MTV show Teen Mom. She's got the experience. And I can absolutely see Mitt Romney teaching kindergarten, right? Some little kid comes up to him, teacher, Joey beat me up and took my milk money. Oh, well now, did you work for that milk money or did mommy just give it to you? Oh, she just gave it to you. So you really didn't deserve to have it, now did you? Yeah, at least Joey worked for it. Mm -hmm. Now go beat up Susie and take her milk money, okay? And don't cry, because boys don't cry. Mm -mm, no, we do not. 